The rumours are dire and foreboding, my dear friends. Our brave scouts' reports speak of a darkness looming on the horizon, for none other than the Dark Lord Kamul has returned from the Abyss. The very thought of it chilled me to the bone, for I know that our mortal realm is once again plunged into the grasp of unspeakable evil. What dark powers had summoned him forth I cannot fathom, but my heart tells me that it is linked to the perilous quest of Fulcret, who was sent by the wise Radagast himself. The weight of our mission is heavy indeed. But let us not forget our valour and courage, my friends, for even though Kamul is a fearsome foe, we have beat him before, and we shall once again face him with the might of the Anduin at our side. The realm we have built shall not fall to the darkness, for even the dead marshes now bow to our will. With the Black Gate within our grasp, the forces of Mordor are struggling, and soon the very lands of Gondor shall be liberated and return to their rightful heirs. Let the minions of Mordor tremble before us, for their once mighty empire will crumble into dust, as their tyrant master has already failed. Let us march forward, with swords held high and hope in our hearts, for the fate of Middle-earth rests upon our shoulders. Hello my fellow furballs and welcome back to our Anduin Vale campaign in Third Age to the War, Divide and Conquer. And today is a special day, not so much the day when this video goes live, but the day of recording, aka the day before this video goes live, uh, because today is Easter, so I want to just make sure to wish you all a very happy Easter, and those of you who don't celebrate Easter, I just hope you have a very splendid weekend. And not only is it the holiest of holy days, it is also, apparently, according to YouTube, uh, the birthday of my channel. So there we have it. I'm not sure which one of those two events, you know, the resurrection of Jesus or Izzy starting his YouTube channel, is the most prominent in history. I'll leave that up to you guys. Um, but it's, you know, a special day in all regards. So hope you all celebrate Izzy Day. Hope you all celebrate Easter Day. Hope you all just have a splendid weekend. And if you're not having a splendid weekend, then I hope this video finds you well and that we can at least have some fun. And we are going to have some fun. I don't really uh, doubt that because we are fully at war with Mordor. They have my undivided attention and they will also have my conquered attention. Yes, my As Mr. Grimbjorn himself is now marching onwards towards the Black Gate, Malak is leading an army to try and take Karandros, possibly push towards Kiridongul. We'll have to see about that. Um, and of course, we have taken Galabrin, where General Odovakar is holding it with a sizable garrison. And considering how strong of a settlement Galabrin is, I don't really think we'll have too much trouble holding it. At the same time, our backup plan, well, not sort of backup plan, it's actually our main plan, Mr. Fulcred, Conqueror of Byrick and Wielder of the One Ring, is marching in the direction of Imladris to uh, go to the White Council and see what Elrond has to say about this situation. In the meantime, we also routed some orcs along the way, which is always a nice treat. Um, besides that, nothing too crazy to report. At the same time, there is, of course, the uh, the sort of side plot, which is the war against Agmar. And also there we are yes, winning rather convincingly. We have armies moving all about. Um, of course, we do need to deal with Ea Chain. That's a bit of an unfortunate situation. We have Captain Yurik on his way to deal with him. We'll see how he fares. But Gobodrain is on the siege. Winter's End is about to fall. And of course, we have an army moving towards Fjordost at the command of Berenald. I'm not laying siege to it just yet because... Well, actually, I think I can lay siege to it. If they sally out, I do believe we can win. But I do think they will sally out. We'll see. Uh, also, yes, I do have a new keyboard. I announced it in a previous video. Uh, it's a mechanical keyboard as opposed to my previous one, which wasn't a mechanical keyboard. Um, so that's a good thing and a bad thing. The good thing is I have a scroll lock button, so I should be able to use cinematic mode again. The bad news is it might be a bit more noisy than my previous keyboard, a bit more clicky clacky. I personally love that sound, but I, I imagine some of you might not. Alright, uh, let's make sure that troops are on the boat. And little all Dundee. Because we're going to need a lot more troops in the south. Like, every man, woman and child that's capable of holding a weapon or riding a horse, preferably both, is more than welcome to join our efforts. Um, yeah, 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 just keep moving. I almost have a full force. If I could just get another boat, that'd be nice, but I don't think I can. Even with settlements where I have ports. I don't think I have the ability to build ships, unfortunately, which is a, a shame. I can only build the lowest tier port. That's odd. But hey, it's 
So yeah, we just have to manage with the one boat we have. The one boat for this entire nation. That's kind of weird, but okay. Uh, yes, yeah, Bowen is on his way as well. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm confident. Although I, I fear we might get attacked here. Orders. That's okay. I also don't like that Kamal's hanging around. For those of you who aren't aware, which I doubt many people would start the campaign right now instead of watching it from the beginning. I assume most of you have watched every episode. But me and Kamul, we uh, we go back just a little bit. We have some history. We have a, a past. And I don't think he's in a very uh, forgiving mood. Even if today is the holiest of holy days. I don't think he's going to wish me a, a happy Easter. I think he's going to wish me a happy death day. But we'll see about that. He can try, of course. I wouldn't mind shoving him into the ground yet again. Oh, and it seems we're going to have ourselves a battle, eh? Two armies up against... Yeah, can't? No, Malak. Captain Hakdul and Captain Ishtak. Okay, so this is just a lot of infantry. Good infantry, but just infantry. No cab, nothing special, so just a grind of a fight. Ishtak... Same deal, no cavalry, very little in terms of archers. I only see one unit here, I'm not sure about the other. Um, one, two, three, four, a couple more here, so five in total. We are on the defensive, we have siege equipment. Um, I also have quite a bit of infantry, only one cav unit, that's a bit unfortunate. But if we can win this fight, that's two armies already out. I hope these armies go for Galabrin and we can destroy them in a defensive siege. Meanwhile, the path for Grimbjorn towards the Black Gate is almost wide open, so... Not sure if Mordor's making the right play here, but we'll see. First, we need to win this, of course. The bounce power is not in my favor, but, uh, well, we'll have to see, right? I shall lead our forces into battle. There is a very loud dog barking outside. I have my window open because otherwise it's too warm to record. I hope that dog shuts up soon. <laughs> okay, this hill is calling me. It's like, hazy. Hey, you really want to go up here? And although it's a bit of a quarter camp, it's also just the best position. Actually, if I want to corner cam, this is an even better position. But, see, I'm not going to go for the most the most cheesy of cheeses. I'm going to go for medium cheese. I'm not going to go full in the corner. I'm going to go over here. I just know someone's going to be like, Oh, Izzy, you're cheesing the battles. No wonder you're winning so easily. Mate, that's rule 101 of Sun Tzu, right? I'm, I'm not sure if it is. I'm, I might be lying, but... Isn't it like, pick your battles and, and choose where you want to fight? Positioning is key, my friends. Positioning is everything. Uh, not just in this mod, but also just in real life warfare. Uh, now, I think the reinforcement is going to come from over there. So I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. On the win! The catapult can go behind. If it wants to. There we go. The ballista will go in the front. We can start fighting from the get-go, really. Uh, the archers are gonna go alongside the ballista. The infantry, I'll set them up once the battle is on the way. Um, and the calf, I'm gonna leave them in reserve for now until we have, like, that infantry locked down. What am I forgetting about my javelin, boys? They'll go right behind over here. Got a bolt. Okay, oh, they're coming from the other way, never mind. I kinda screwed up. Uh, let's see, I want a strong line of shields in the front. Hope the ballista can fire over them. I'll put them a bit further ahead. Um, I want these woodman boys to take the flanks. Same with you, woodman boys. Woodman warriors, woodman warriors. It's a small difference. Um, take the flank. Skin changes, I want you to be the flank of the flank. You guys over there. Uh, with my warners, I might put you, like, more on the corners there. We do have a height advantage, so I'm not too fussed with my archers being relatively far back. Positioning is a little bit messy, but that's okay. I'm fine with that. Okay, this ballista won't hit jack shit. This one might. We'll see, they might try to get some far off shots in. Otherwise, I might have to push these guys, like, just over that ledge. Or I move the ballista further back, like, here. That's actually better, probably. Um, go join your catapult friend. Uh, up here, I guess? Uh, slight ledge over there. 
I actually saw a trailer for like a new Lord of the Rings mobile game right before I started recording. I was just messing about on YouTube and I was like, I forgot the name of it. It was some Lord of the Ring, Ring bullshit. But it just looked terrible. I mean, it just looked like any old MOBA game, mobile game, not mobile game, mobile game. Just like, and you could already see where the loot boxes were gonna fit in and where the micro trend. It's just, ah, uh, why, 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 why? Oh man, if Tolkien was alive, I, I mean, I don't, I can't read the man's mind, of course, but I really can't fathom he'd be very happy about it. He's probably spinning in his grave quicker than. Well, I was about to say Kamul, but well, Kamul's no longer in his grave. But it was just a sad sight. I mean, the amount of, of love and interaction I get from these videos just, for me, makes it so damn obvious that people are starving, hungry for a good fantasy, Lord of the Rings inspired, preferably, uh, strategy game. Not per se in the Total War setting, but. Just a good old strategy game, like Battle for Middle Earth, like, well, this game. Um, but, like, I don't know. It would make so much money as well, so even if you're just like, oh, well, just capitalism. Even in capitalism, it would make a lot of money. Alright, guys, can you aim for this blob? Imagine, just one big juicy hit here. Oh, ballista, just fired on the blob. They're all blobbed up, there we go. And they still missed! How do you miss that? There we go. Much better. Make sure all the missile boys except the horses are on guard mode. Oh, you missed your shot, mate. There oh, never mind. That was a good hit. Or to quote Treebeard, a fine hit. Not sure what that's all about. How do you friendly fire? A I swear, these guys. Find me a mod that actually has like... What the fuck? Sorry, cursing. But like, what? How? How do you whiff that shot that badly? I'm sorry, but that's that. You're literally not even trying. Or you are actually trying to hit my own dudes. Like, give you one more shot and then you're, you're off the team. I'm putting you on the bench, mate. If you friendly fire again. Okay, that's good. See, it's not too difficult. Oh my god, you're off. You're gone. Get out of here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> They've been drinking mead again before the battle. Incredible scenes. Alright, just like that, we've killed 4% already. Alright, send forth the men. I'm gonna have to release the calf. Alright, new boys. They're trying to, like, pinpoint my arches or something silly. Could you not do that, please? Uh, sorry, my calf, not my arches. Well, that's a good way for my calf to get rid of their javelins. Okay. Hmm. The blob hit me. Is that a route talk? The Black Hood Calvert's already routing. What? Look, Gamper, what? They're routing a whole lot quicker than I anticipated, I can tell you that. Damn, okay. Uh, I'm gonna make you save your ammo for now. Chances of friendly fire are a bit too high. Oh, don't route that quick. Come on, give me a chance to, like, eat you up. Charge! Even if it's a proper charge, it's more about the morale from them being surrounded. It's close, it almost made them route. Look at that! Their morale is absolutely... I mean... I'm used to fighting against Angmar lately, and, and their morale by all means isn't that bad. This is more like Dol Guldur morale, and it's absolutely terrible. I forgot just how shockingly awful it is. This is good news. I mean, of course, I don't, shouldn't get too comfortable, because if we're up against, like, a, a Nazgul army, then that's not gonna fly. But against these boys, if they're just, like, a captain stack, no worries whatsoever. Second army's coming in piecemeal. That's how I'll eat them. Piecemeal. Alright, boys. Surprised they haven't broken yet. Should send in the Owning Axemen, though, because they cause a morale debuff. Alright, give these boys a warm Anduinville welcome. Welcome to my side of the battle. 
The enemy are badly bloodied. Now I think one of my neighbors is mowing his lawn, which I'm pretty sure is actually illegal in Belgium to do on a Sunday. I'm not joking. <laughs> so I might have to close my window after this battle. Unless the noise isn't too bad, but I don't know. Because I don't hear it myself. Oh, they came back. Well, that's not a big surprise, I suppose. Come on. Like, they broke so quickly earlier, and now they're like, suddenly... Suddenly they don't break. Like, what? The moment I start charging in the rear, they're like, oh, never mind, you actually like fighting. Alright. Well, if I can clean up this army without too many casualties. It's mostly about the siege equipment that I want to, like, keep a hold off. Clean them up, because we want to make sure we're in some sort of positioning before that second army arrives. So if they want to route, let them route, it's fine. Oh, okay, that's that. GG. Good game, well played. There we go. The lines, they are collapsing. Let's get these boyos back in a suitable position. Like that. And like that. Take your time, boyos. Let the calf hunt them down. Um, da, 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 you two. Da, 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 da. Sorry, I love this music. Uh, skin oh, it's not skin changers. Yawning warriors. I do want to send in the skin changer in the next fight because we've already lost twenty five percent, which is a little bit more than I was hoping. Now they came back. That's fine. That's fine. Let's make sure we pull back so we're at a bit of a... Like these Easterlings, man. I love the Easterlings. You all know it's my favorite faction, but these guys are pussies. They broke so fast. Big route. Yeah, just everybody routing. Alright, oh, no, boys. Dump your javelins. Let's see if the cinematic camera works. Yeah, it does. I've missed this. Ho ho ho! Nice. Despite my ho ho ho, that actually wasn't that effective. Now the second meal is coming in, so take a breather, take a rest. Be ready for the next party. Oh, they broke even before getting to our lines. Wonderful. Come on, break. Break, ya fools! Why do archers always have better morale than literally infantry? It doesn't make sense. I've said it many times in my videos. It has bothered me greatly in the past already. Alright, I want you to fire, but not at like the ones that are running. But if you can fire at like the low gamper, then by all means. Look at these beautiful boys. Ah, oh. I love them so much. Wardens, I'm going to put you back a little bit more. Got that pulled. I don't know what to do with you. You just love doing friendly fire. Like, it bothers me. I don't like it. Alright, calf pull back. Take a breather. Eat some hay. Eat some carrots. The horses, not the rider. I mean, the riders, I guess they can eat a carrot. I am personally quite a big fan of carrots. Uh, don't fire on like two guys that are running. Sorry, but that's just not worth your ammo. I wish there was a way to like toggle fire at will, but only at like decent targets. To make up your mind. Uh, I I think if I why are you not moving, mate? You're just waiting for the rest of your army. Oi! Nice shot. For once in your damn life, I think I killed like twenty lads. Alright, this army only has one archer unit, so... Well, half an archer unit. <laughs> Can you hit those boys? Hit the low camp him. I heard they like fire. Oh, Ballista is so inaccurate. I mean, I guess it's hard to hit a moving small target, but still. Oh, no. Adjust, adapt. 
Be more accurate next time. They're standing still. This is your chance. The pepperoni. Oh, this is a good one, I think. Oh, uh, almost. That was almost perfect. That's overshooting it. Almost hit someone else by accident. Sometimes that's the best way to kill a general by accident. That's probably the Sauron's will that's the general. Uh, yeah, I think it's that guy, right? Yeah. Don't think we'll be hitting him anytime soon. I mean, maybe if I fight on the Orc host, we might. This is doing good work. Aim on the Orc host, see if we can hit the general. Uh, don't shoot the Orc host with your arches. Is he a silly bugger? Ooh, see that almost killed the general. They're aiming for this guy, they're accidentally hitting this guy. It's such a small, like, stretched out unit. Gonna take a miracle, but hey, miracles can happen. All it takes is one not well placed shot. Thanks, catapult. Thanks, absolute donut. Fine, aim for the Sauron's will then. See if that works any better. I tried to annihilate that general early on. That would be quite beneficial for us. General, I want you to actually give a damn this time around. Who's that? Sauron's will? Shoot them. A prime unit to shoot. Ooh, that wasn't too bad. Okay. Sons of Beon! Nice. Is that a route already? No, they're just going off the edge. What are they... What are they doing? I think they want to get out. <laughs> Pacifist scum. I have no idea. <laughs> but yeah, boys. Look at it in all its beautiful cinematic glory. That Sauron's was already broken. These guys will break, I'm sure of it. The Morgul Chosen. That's the best Morgul has to offer? Well, that's a relief. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. Okay, General is leading that flank. Good, good, good. Uh, General's in trouble. Stop firing. Nice to see that my archers used up most of their ammo. So we've used them rather effectively, is what I'm trying to say. Alright, charge the on guard. They have poor morale. So the Morgul chosen are weak. The Moran and guard aren't much better. In fact, they're worse. So all my approaches uh, seem pretty safe, right? That's the best those locations have to offer. Can't say I'm too fussed about this. There we go. Another broken band of orcs. It's nice to see my horses being especially effective against Mordor trash. They have lost half their men. And these are my, my lowest tiered calf. Can't wait to have like some Framsgard and Eothiot glances in here. Okay, Sauron's will surrounded. Sauron's will will soon be broken. Right, finish him off. There we go. Our men have slain the enemy yep. general. There we have it, lads. Let's kill as many of these bastards as we can. Oh no 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 no! This battle is not over. In fact, for me, it has just begun. Now comes the cleanup detail. Brrr, look at the prisoner count. Flying up. Making me a little bit juicy. Oh, yeah. Alright, I think we need to call it a day, though. 34% from 93. Uh, let's see if this guy's a good healer. I think he might be. That's where those herbalists and then apothecaries come in handy. I could run down these guys, I suppose. But, uh, actually, it's kind of worth it. It is kind of worth it to make sure that these guys don't retreat towards the Black Gate. Just so that battle... Well, in fact, it would be beneficial for me to stack up the full gate with, like, low-tier trash, because then they can't get their garrison troops, which they do get quite a few of them. 
about any. Alright, are they coming over the edge? I swear if we are just too late. Ah, uh, you know what, let them run. Whatever. Whatever, it's still a heroic win. 29%, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We killed... Uh, well, if you combine it with the prisoners, that is well over 4,000, so... Very, very nice. And who got the most kills? Probably the calf. 266 Woodman Warriors. Oh, okay. That's a surprise. How much did the calf kill? Where are they? I'm blind. Aeothea Horseman, 116. But they got 1,716 prisoners. Okay, nice. Alright, ooh, 9.3k of execution value. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I mean, we gotta go, th we gotta chew through these Mordor stacks at one point, right? Might as well have them thrown at me where I have a suitable position. Alright. Oh, come on then. Captain Zaglag. Whoa, back Betty. Zaglag. Uh, crap. Just a whole lot more crap. This army's even worse than the two we just fought before, so... I welcome them to the the grind fest of Malak. Muster your courage, men. What a way to spend my channel's birthday! This just fighting the same battle over and over again. Uh, you know what? This time I won't sit in the corner. This one, this is already like a pretty suitable high ground. They have the good music. It's a sign. I'm making the right call here. In fact, I can put my like siege equipment on this slope like that. Put my archers behind. Bloop, and put my art, uh, my, sorry, my infantry, uh, spear, 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 shield, below, into the mosh pit, oh, the game wants me to, just so they can fight like down there, and then my archers, etc, can just pummel them, the game doesn't want me to put out my javelins, unfortunately, I don't know if this will work, it's a good, Test, I suppose. I'll use my skin changers as well. Make sure they get their axes wet. Uh, who am I forgetting about? I'm forgetting about someone. Like. Oh, there they are. Uh, more infantry. Just there. And of course, the calf, right? That's gonna be very important. Where the. Mate, why are you all the way back there? You absolute donut. It's very hilly terrain, though. Alright, I'll make a quick jump cut for you guys so you don't have to watch me just sit here and wait. Okay, well, they refuse to move, even after sending some calf to try and lure them in. So I think what I'll do is, um... Well, just try to get their attention, I suppose. It's very annoying when the AI does that. Like, sometimes they just, like, start a battle and then they're like, Okay, we've attacked you, but now we're actually not gonna do anything. So I don't know if we can get them to, to budge, um, but either way, I think I should be able to shoot some of them, which is really worth something. <laughs> uh, so let's see, I'm just going to try and put my infantry... I wanted to move them as a group, but unfortunately that didn't work. But if I can put them in a decent position, who knows, we might be able to shoot them and we might be able to get some kills. Some much needed kills. Um, let's see here. I'll have to move my troops in a bit of an awkward position, but... Don't you start moving now, mate. I hate when the AI does that. Like, do nothing, even though they're the ones who are supposed to do stuff. And then wait for you to actually start moving your troops, and only then start just being all annoying. Can you tell I'm sometimes bothered by the AI and their behavior? <laughs> Alright, well, we should be able to kill lots of them now. Even if the terrain is a bit unforgiving. Um, see, now even that we're shooting them, they're not budging. I don't know what's wrong with them. I guess I should have seen it come in the moment they spawned in so far away and then decided not to do anything. But I hope now with my seed equipment in tow, I mean, this should be ideal positioning for them. Come on, no, you should be able to just go ham. The positioning is perfect. Don't try to tell me otherwise. We have such a height advantage. Look at that. That's absolutely dreadful for them. They must be pooping their orc trousers. Do orcs wear trousers? I assume they do. But listen, you have like the freest kills ever. Ready. 
Even now they're just sending in their archers and only their archers. Very weird. I mean, I was thinking of maybe just waiting out the timer, but eh, it's a bit lame, isn't it? Alright, catapults. How do you whiff those shots? There we go. There we go, we got some hits now. I mean, I'll happily wait them out if that's what it's gonna take, like, whatever. Just try and kill as many of them as we can. See, I, d I don't know what they're trying to achieve. Where is that general? It's the one in the back, the whole coast. Okay. There we go, that was a big enough juicy shot to convince them otherwise. Come in then, come out and play. Uh, Morale is going to suffer heavily from fighting like this. I, didn't, I wouldn't even try, like I'd just be like, nope. <laughs> getting the hell out of here, getting the hell out of dodge. Aim for like one in the middle, whether they undershoot or overshoot, they're bound to hit something. Okay, sending your archers in melee, fine by me. Mm, TV ammo. They're not worth it. Fire in this clusterfuck, please. Oh, imagine the kills you could rack up. You don't even need to be accurate, just fire in the general direction, you're bound to hit something. Yes! Yes! More! More. And fast, please. Right, it seems this flank might be more needed to try and loop around. Yes! Even the ballistas are hitting multiple sh multiple kills per shot. Ooh, yes! Yes! More! Beautiful, 21% down. I could just keep this army standing here and they just keep racking up the kills. They want to keep throwing their men after me. That's completely fine, at least in this position. I will welcome you with open arms. Hide right over here, boys. Although, you will hit, but you probably won't. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, now you win the wardens can throw. Chuck your javelins. Alright. The elves are holding them. They're wavering, yeah, I'm not surprised. You are dangerously outnumbered, my friends. That's okay. Well, they're actually getting back in fighting shape. Feeling more motivated than before. Hold, elves! Nice. Fight into the death, that's okay. Their morale is now toast because their general is. dead. I think it wasn't here. Alright, go in melee then, whatever. Doesn't matter much. Oh, ho, ho, ho! More! 4% for 45. Look at that, just a laser beam of death. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. Yes. From such tidings does victory emerge. Beorn watching us in the sky. He's smiling. He's grinning. He likes what he sees. I'm sure of it. Yes. Oh, that's a massive rout. And I'm taking them prisoner by ways of flinging rocks at their faces. <laughs> yes, yes, pick them off one by one, boys. Or not one by one, I don't care. Doesn't have to be one by one. Alright, I'm gonna tell the siege to stop fighting. It's time we uh, put away our brute weaponry and finish them off in a more refined manner. Prisoner cannon is racking up like crazy. Take him out, take him out, my boys, take him out. I think it's just this one Mauler unit standing. If your last unit is a Mauler unit, you must be questioning yourself a lot of things. So I'm happy I didn't just wait out the timer then, because this is a huge win. Otherwise I'd have to fight that battle at some later time. Now I was able to just clean them up. 
80%. We need to hit 85%. Too bad they're so close to that edge of the map. Come on, pick him off. 83. Close. Oh, if I could get that big gulp of units. Yes. Oh, yes. Up to 90. Yes. This is where I wish we had Warhounds. We don't need them. Alright. If you remember Warhounds in Rome, they could actually go beyond the red line, so they were absolutely... But look at that, 95 casualties and we killed an army of over 3k. Like, perfectly fine. Keep those battles coming. Catapult 359, oh man. Wonderful result. Alright, good execution. And now Kamul is like, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it myself. Damn, this is just gonna be this entire episode is just gonna be me fighting with Malak, taking them down one by one, just cleaning up the entire uh, northern army of Mordor. Like, jeez. Oh, it's two Nazgul's for the price of one. Look at that. Kamul and his Shadow Knights, probably. Temple Knights, okay. He's been replacing them. And Lagaran of the Neck. Uh, I hope he isn't too attached to that neck of his. Temple Wards. Besides that, a very shoddy army. Ooh, one of the shoddiest we've seen so far. So I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing, right? I mean, it's worked for this long. The only thing I need to be careful of is, of course, they have Temple Wards and Temple Knights, which are big of a bit of a threat. But if I get rid of Kamul, then this guy's morale boost won't matter because he's not the actual general. And the rest of the army will have very poor morale. So all eyes on Kamul. The final showdown against this creature thing, I assume. We'll have to see, of course, but uh, yeah. Time to settle the score, eh? We attack. It's like that latest Star Wars movie, isn't it? Somehow Kamul returned. We don't know how, we don't know why, where. But the man is back. And he is angrier than ever before. It's interesting that the landscape is a slightly bit different than it was previously. Um, so let's just see, what is the best positioning for me? I mean, corner camping... Could work. Ooh. If I could put my troops here, that would be quite good. Some powerful corners here. Like, that's that would be an absolute beast of a position. But, uh, nay. Kamul deserves better. But I'm just thinking, like, this is a pretty good spot, I'd say. If I can get my infantry in front of the catapults, or possibly over here. Although, I think this is more powerful. So what I want to do is get them really in the front of it, just so they have front row seats. Uh, make sure they're ready to fire. Archers I want to have immediately peppering down on them. But I need the infantry to like flank round like that and get in front of the siege equipment. So I'm going to have to move them about like that. Uh, oops, accidentally switched keyboard types. Um, that Cav will be on careful approach as long as Kamul lives. Okay. Oh, when the elves came back. Okay. Just pausing just to make sure they're not too close. Okay. This can work. This can work rather well. Warriors assemble. Okay. Um, you over there, you over there. Try to make sure they don't get absolutely hammered by Kamul. Kamul and his Temple Knights are going to be dangerous, but. Well. We'll just have to break his charge. Where is he? There he is! Bastard. He looks different than before. Kamul, hope you've been well. <laughs> oh lord. Oh, bother. <laughs> uh, somehow that completely slipped in my mind, of course, that Kamul would return. But of course he does, because if the Na if Gold or Guldur dies, the faction, then the Nazgul do return to Mordor. So yeah, that was... Just and I think Lagran of the Neck, wasn't he one of the Guldur Nazgul? I can't remember for sure. Whoa, catapults. Those aren't the best shots. Oh, okay, never mind. Decapitated some orcs there. I just whiffed over their heads. But I need you to go hard on Kamul. 
If you're not in range yet, just wait. There will be a time where you will be in range. Nice shot. Rain hell down upon them. Since when have the Anduin Veilsmen become such masters of siege warfare? Well, I'm not complaining. Way That was a, a miss and a half. Oh, we almost hit some of those temple knights. What if you aim for the, what if you aim for the Moranan guard? Would that work? And they're not coming closer, but my archers are having a field day. You've already killed two percent. Those micro archers have decent armor. Blister's doing work though. Blister is doing the heavy lifting. Where are those temple knights? If we have eyes on them, where are they? They're probably in the back somewhere. No. Are they in hiding? Am I blind? There's a Nazgul unit with Temple Knight. Uh, sorry, Temple Wards, and I'm just not seeing him. I don't have a clue. <gasps> Ooh, that wasn't too bad. Hey! More of that, please! See, man, I'm telling him to aim for the Moran Guard. He totally whiffs the Moran Guard. See, I don't. I, oh, now it's moving. It took you long enough, mate. 6%. <laughs> Sorry, but that's not nearly enough. I need all eyes on Kamul. Okay. Make sure the cab gets rid of their ammo. Temple Knights. Oy, 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 oy. Need them gone. ASAPP. Where are the Temple Knights? Yeah, my infantry line is not strong enough to hold against Kamu. I need to be smart about this. That's just not happening. Good shots, good shots. Oh, we almost hit Kamu. That was so close. Though I don't think the Ballista can one-hit him, but I'm pretty sure the Catapult can. But that would be incredibly lucky if it happens. Good shot. Oh, there are the temple wards. Don't mind you flinging some shots that way. Of course, Kamul is priority number one. But we are hammering him. We're doing some damage. Right, we don't need to count on a route as long as Kamul is standing. He gives an incredible amount of morale bonus. <sighs> We're so close! Okay, don't concentrate your troops. Keep them spread out a bit. Kamul's down to 31. Those temple wards are going to chew through my infantry. Nice shot. I heard the crunching. Look at those Temple Knights, they are going down slowly but surely. 27. Throw your javelins if you must. But as long as Kamul lives, there's no winning this battle. I mean, we are racking their numbers, but... We need more. We need a whole lot more. Moving my cap to the other flank, because I feel like they can do more damage there. Keep it up. Come on, man! I've killed you once, I'll kill you again. Mark my words, you bastard. Oh, the shots are coming in hard. But they're aiming center mass. And Kamul's on the flank. All it takes is one lucky shot. Decent charge. Pull out though. My boys, I'm not sure if we can win this one. 
I'm I'm having some doubts because my my infantry line is collapsing, so my siege group is getting shut down. Just don't have the the manpower to hold that. We've whiffed Kamul hard. Look at that, his unit's battered, but not quite broken. Now he's going for my Eothead, so I need to I need to trap him somehow in an infantry fight and just crush him. The temple wards are going down much quicker than I anticipated. Okay, he's gonna try and charge my woodland warriors, which won't work. Oh, I thought for a moment we had him in a javelin crossfire. That's not the case. My right, infantry, you just need to live. It's a good thing their troops aren't the strongest. Okay, there we go, there we go. Keep him busy. I know, Temple Knights are a tough, tough unit. But keep him in position. Help is on the way. Oh, you whiffed the charge. Skin changers. Go after Kamul. Kamul is the key. If we do not kill Kamul, we shall never win this battle. But Kamul is going down. He can be killed. We've killed him before. We can kill him again. Not to worry. He's pulling back. See, he's scared. He knows what we can do to him. Oh, my skin changes are going down. If my general dies, this is also over. Come all you coward! Come back here! I'm not done with you. Thing is, my Aeothid horsemen can't solo him. A charge is effective, but then after the charge, they will go down. That is just the problem. The enemy are badly bloodied. How is my general still alive? <laughs> he really shouldn't be, by all means. Yeah, I see my youth it gets screwed hard. Pull out. If I can lock down the Temple Knights and then send in my skin changers. I might have a chance of killing Kamul. My general. Alright, I'm gonna sacrifice my Aerofit just to keep him in position. Skin changers will annihilate those Temple Knights. They need to get a chance to do so. Come on, get in there. I need your help, skin changers. I need it now. Yes, they're helping, they're helping. Those horses don't stand a chance against my skin changers, but they need to get in there. It's just come all, boys. It's just come all. The lines are collapsing. Good men are dying out there. Brave men. Do not let the sacrifice be in vain. Kill Kamul. Again. Do not let him escape. Throw your javelins if you can. Do not worry about friendly fire. I think that's my general who's fighting him. General against general. This is what you wanted, right, Kamul? There he is. There's my general coming in to finish this deed. Fell deeds are upon us, my friends. That is not disappoint. Yes! Kamul lies broken. And your code will soon follow. News travels fast, my friends. Oh, general, don't, don't go sacrificing yourself, sorry. I'm not going to send you in. That's ridiculously stupid if I would do that. I'm still not convinced the battle will be won, but... Oh, well, maybe. But this army is completely battered down. But it, it crushed pretty much four full stacks and two Nazgul if we win this fight. So... I can't really complain. Right, there's some Temple Wards left. Alright, nine horses need to capture all of this. Go in melee. I need you in melee. Ready for Chase down Lagadon. There's no escape, Lagadon. I will nick you. Oh, my boys. 53% for 73. What a close fight. If we hadn't killed Kamul, we'd definitely lose. But now we actually stand a chance. Slayer of Nazgul. What a lad. Ah, 
There we go. My god, what a beast! This general killed two Nazgul. No man can kill me, I am no man. I am bear. You absolute donut. Oh no, my horses. Well, there go my cab. I think they'll... Uh, will they revive? I'm not sure. Either way, this army is done for today. Like, they... They need to retreat, get some reinforcements. But they've opened the path for uh, Grimbion, so... That's fantastic, either way. If I just make sure that Grimbion gets the siege equipment, then we're good. Oh, we did it, my boys. We actually won this fight. Whew. My god. Yeah, that was that was something, man. That was something. All right, Kamul's revenge averted. Goodness gracious, eighty-nine percent. I think that's. This is a clear yeah. victory. <sighs> Did we get our horses back? <laughs> the real question. Here, the horsemen. Yes, we got two back. They can be retrained. Wow, what a grind of a fight! But we actually made it, my friends. We actually did it. We won. Although I, part of me wonders and is scared that another army will just pop up. We'll have to see on the campaign map. Alright, execute them. Please leave me alone now. I think he's... Yes! Oh, we survived the onslaught. Goodness gracious. What... What's a set of battles? I got speechless. I'd like to think we made a big difference here. I don't know. Who knows how many more armies will pop up in the next turn, but I like to think we actually did a very, very nice amount of damage. Now. Yes, my lord. All right. Um, Your orders, my lord. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Yes, Grimbion can reach the Black Gate, and I very much want him to. It's just blockaded, but then Your I don't have the extra lord, siege equipment. But I could pull this army towards Hen at the Noon. It's risky, but yes. I'm going to go for it. This Pick up some Ithilien Rangers now. Maybe I can put you in hiding. Yes. My luck. No hiding? Yes, my lord. Yeah, whatever. Grimbjorn, go lay siege. Actually, carefully, please. Okay, there's no huge this garrison at Moranon. They will get extra defender lands. troops. Yes, my lord. And I do need to be wary that this army does not have a lot in terms of infantry. And I very much need infantry, but Your orders, my if lord. I attack 12 turns, I can wait 12 turns. Like, time is on my side here. 13 turns because I'm short one tile. Time is on my side because I'm getting reinforcements in. If I can blockade their reinforcements from the south, that's fine. Yes, like, I got this lord. guy coming in already. Yes. Making camp here. And I got another army already being prepared. I'm a lunk. I got more troops coming in with the boats. Time is on my side here. I think I can outproduce. Well, I can't outproduce more than in terms of just sheer quantity. But in terms of quality versus Lord, quantity, I think I get the better deal. Uh, let's see, how many more slots? Two more slots. Anything that I have to get? A ballista, preferably. And extra archers. Sail down, my friends. Sail down. I can sail pretty much all the way to the Falls of Rauros, then. They can. They can. Shut up. Alright, Dwinberg got the tomb. Um, do I need anything else in Dwinberg? Well, I can't be further upgraded, so I guess I'll get a Ballista Maker. I've not yet got a Ballista Maker, so let's make sure to get that. And an Apothecary. But South has got sheep farms. Good. One day we'll upgrade it. Let's get a Herbalist. I could probably build more stuff, but we'll wait a bit. Need to be a little bit smart with my money. Uh, it's another army being prepared on the I will also need a fresh army for Fulcred once he's over here, but he still has a bit of a walk ahead of him. Yes, my lord. All right, nice to see that they yes. left me alone at Kazadun West, and nice to see the elves finally, finally, finally doing something. With honor, we can go All right, so Imnadris isn't too far this away from us. It will take a couple turns because I'm slow as hell with the ring, here. which is quite unfortunate. All right. Uh, let's check. So we didn't get attacked at Angmar. Oh god! Um. Oh, never mind. <laughs> For a moment I thought these were all Angmarim generals, but it's just... I think it's the Northern Dunedain just being an asshole against Angmar, being like, Oh, you're short on generals? Watch me just throw away four generals your way. Alright. <laughs> Alright. 
Let's make sure the cab's already near Baranald. And the rest will join shortly. Alright, and Captain Yurik. Run towards AR Chain. Four more turns. They're not really being starved out now, are they? They still look healthy. Winter's End's about to be starved out though, so that's great. To have that back firmly in our possession. Uh, right, I could clean up these garrisons, but I really don't care. We're so close to the end of this campaign that it just doesn't matter much to me anymore. Uh, so just keep on trucking. Uh, right, I think I can press the end turn then, right? Mordor, come on now. An extra general near Litash. I'll send you over here to govern Winter's End. We might need that. So I can occupy it instead of having to eradicate everyone. And then this time he's still pretty fresh, so we'll see. Maybe we'll send them towards Mordor, but I don't know if they'll arrive in time. Okay. Yeah, no, I think yes, I think we're good. The only problem is, of course, that my movement speed is so slow, both with Fulcrit, because he has the one ring, and in Mordor, because you get so many debuffs from being in the Black Swamps and all that kind of... The Black Swamps? No, the Dead Marshes. What's the... Is that something like the Black Marshes as well, or is that... No, that's in the Elder Scrolls. That's where the Argonians live. My bad. I'm mixing up the lore of uh, different fantasy settings. I apologize. It's hard to keep track of it all sometimes. And I must admit, as I grow older, I have a harder time getting into like deep fantasy stuff. I mean, the, the best example lately would be Mass Effect. That's like one of the few games in the past couple of years because I never played it as a kid. Hey, can I occupy it? Yeah, I can actually. Uh, I never played it as a kid. Picked up the Legendary Edition, and that's one of the few games where I really like investing time and... Oh, rest in peace. Getting to know the lore, etc, etc. Take a non on a rot. I mean, I don't really want to, but it Your would order, get the lord. elves off my... Oh, uh, sorry, the orcs off my back. Because the elves are seemingly... Well, they're trying to hold Byrick, I guess. I mean, what's in an on a rod? There's a lot of crap in there, and I really want to just get to... Imladris as soon as possible, but I don't know. I guess I could use it. Well, at least I can finally train some troops here. Woodman, I'll mostly invest in like archers and infantry. Yes, my lord. You know what? I'm sorry, I'm gonna skip an on and a rod. I know maybe I should, but 2,000 gold coins is not worth it. The elves, let them work for their settlements if they want them. I mean, look, you got Gilder and Glory in here with a big ass army. Alright, I need more spies in the south. If they want to try and go after Galabrin, that's fine. I can actually take Karandros. Hmm, I'm running low on time, but screw it. Oh, if I hover over Karandros, Henneth Noon also lights up. Never noticed that. Huh, that's funny. I guess it's part of the campaign strategy model or something silly? Not sure. Alright, first and foremost. Yes, wait, can I attack Lungor and take Moranon like that? No, I can't, but it actually did lead me through the victory. gate somehow. And this guy is now stuck inside Moran without a head? Yes. Weird situation, but yes, whatever. Um, yeah, just let him yes. come like that. And Bolt, you will go help out yes. near the Black Gate. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. Vigil over the lands. I have so much vision already. You guys must be happy. Yes. Alright, uh, screw it. Let's end this episode by us taking Karandros from Ganaltan. Karandros would be a nice, beefy settlement to hold. I do need to get a diplomat towards more. Uh, sorry, Gondor post haste. Your orders. But yes. If I hold Karandros, Your that will go a bit easier. I don't think they'll get a garrison. No? So this shouldn't be too difficult. What do you have? No marksman, please. Temple Ward's good. They will go down rather easily. Let's save, and let's uh, take the pride of the Anduin Vale, I guess. Sorry, not the Anduin Vale, but the River Anduin. If I take Karandros, I'd really do hold most of the Anduin, which is quite cool. But uh, this is the settlement I'll give back to Gondor. I'm going to try to help him rebuild Gondor a little bit. Uh, mostly to serve as a distraction to Mordor, just so I can have more free room to maneuver in the north. All right, let's take this element, probably our last hurrah for this episode. Muster your courage, men! Karandros still looking beautiful, hasn't really been quite corrupted yet. Uh, my seed could contribute to chew right through the gate and possibly some of the towers. 
and hopefully some of their men as well. This army is quite battered up. They've already killed two Nazgul, now they're on to their third one, which is crazy to think about. But they just keep on trucking, my two horsemen here. Look at them. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, you want to try and, like, act annoying with the towers? Do I really want to bother using up my ammunition on the towers? No, I don't. Because they're about to abandon the towers anyway. So just knock down the gate if you can. Alright, sturdy bit, gate. But still, I'm happy I didn't waste the turn building siege equipment. Alright, um, javelins. You're going to be quite important. And armor piercing boys. We'll chew through those woodmen, sorry, temple wards as if it's nothing. Not sure where they're running off to. Okay. They just want to make a conga line. I get it, I get it. Look at this beautiful statue. That actually looks epic. Look at that. I bet none of you have ever paid attention to it. Or some of you might have. Who knows, who knows, who knows. Wouldn't mind holding Cat Andros myself for a little bit, but just don't have the manpower for it. It's a very easy settlement to hold, especially if you have siege equipment like a catapult, because you can place them on this hill here, have a big fight in the center here, and have them just rain down hell upon you, but you need at least a little bit of manpower to hold them in place, and I really do. Oh, you have archers. Now. Right, I forgot about that. No, uh, go through, and you guys go on the wall. I want my archers on the wall. Come on. Why is it always such a bitch when you enter the settlement to have them go on the wall? It's always like they just slow down, don't do anything. I got a bolt. Time to have some fun. Actually, aim for the temple wards. Watch me snipe the general. First shot. Okay, never mind. That was a warm up, that didn't count. Okay, that counted, but it wasn't the first. Woodsman. Alright, come on, boys, get inside, get on the walls. Act like you give a damn. I'm telling them to run and they're just not doing it, because I don't know why. That's better. Still not great though, because I'm asking you to actually fire and you're just not doing it. Come on. I'm asking you to go on the walls, please. This wouldn't be nearly as painful if it wasn't for those arches, but whatever. Either way, we're winning this. And I I, I wanna save my infantry. Which is why I'm not going to look over the we hit the statue. <laughs> that would be cool if that could like collapse. It does count as a building that you can damage, I guess, but I can't. I can't aim at it. No. We hit it a couple times, so if it was gonna take damage, it would have already happened. But alas, that is not the case. At this point, I'm just making a statement to Gondor. <laughs> I'm giving you this settlement, but I could crush you just like that. Maybe fight on the temple wards a little bit. Those guys are scary in melee. Very scary in melee. Even in range, they don't really go down. Very high armor. No shields, but they don't care. Alright. They're taking a bit of a beating now. Wanna be careful with my infantry. Do we try and push towards Minas Tirith with this army? I doubt it. Unless, I mean, Gondor, uh, sorry, Mordor really didn't expect me to go in that easily. So they might have left Minas Tirith very weakly defended, just like they did with Cat Andros. I mean, there's two units in here. The same might have happened to Minas Tirith and Asgiliath. So who knows? If I if I can force it, I'll try to. Right. Just easily use up our arrows. No worries. No rush. We have all the time in the world. But I will move my javelin boys a bit closer to let them have some fun too. They are the ones that are armor-piercing, so if anyone's going to have a good time against them, it's going to be the Javelin Boys. And lunch. 
That's working out rather easily. Bastards. They used to give me so much grief. Typically because you fight Nazgul quite early on most of the time. Our men have taken control the late caves are not that dangerous anymore. Alright, this man's already killed two Nazgul, so might as well uh, give him the killing blow. Judge! Chop chop. That speeds up a bit. Oh no, it's bully gun alton out of existence. We continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Chop, 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 chop. Oh no, he killed one. I'm afraid that's gonna be all though. Yep, the there we this go. Is a clear <laughs> it's our third Nazgul slain in one episode. How cool is that? And there we have it. I didn't expect to take out Andros in this episode, but I'm happy with it. If you had told me at the beginning of this episode that I'd kill three Nazgul and take Karandros, I would have called you a liar. My lord! I will have to sack though, just to make sure we have some public order. Um, I'll quickly build a militia garrison, just in case. Um, I'll try to get my diplomat towards Mordor as quickly as possible. Sorry, not Mordor, yes, Gondor. As you wish. We've reached Minas Tirith. Who would have thought? Well, it's actually not that well defended, <laughs> as I sort of hinted towards. Neither is as Giliath. There's a Tolamroth general here, but uh, I don't want to deal with Tolamroth, I want to deal with Gondor, mate. Alright, I'll finish off the construction, which won't uh, take too long. Uh, yes, sheep farming. Dane's Hall, got sheep farming. Let's get a royal hall so we can train more troops. As I do west, got the master ground. Already building more stuff there. Guild in Gelebrin. I'll take a horse breeders guild. I need to make sure, though, that I get the Aeotheid stables then. Later on, of course. Alright, let's quickly check our settlementos to make sure we're building stuff. Winter's End. I need to make sure to get that culture back up. Dantalad. Dantalad? Hmm. My culture is spreading fast, so let's get a muster ground. More places we can train lads. Leothal. Don't need anything there. Urzakul. I'll get the... I don't need anything there. Dolingvar. Let's get some farms, because I need cash. Movatath. I could get the Aeotheid stables. Is the culture high enough? Yep, it is. Then let's go for it. Uh, Litash. Woodman range. Culture. 75. That should be high enough. Yep, for Greenwood Foresters. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I could expand quite easily from Angmar onwards if I really wanted to continue this campaign, but... If you want to go for a world domination, then maybe the Unknown Vale isn't the worst faction. they got a nice central location, so you could expand in like all directions. Not just the one direction. <laughs> Get it? Right, let's just pass by the massive garrison of Baridoninag. Hopefully they won't bother as me. Wish. As I try to assassinate Air Chain. Right, Fjordas on the siege. Go with Drain three more turns. My lord. Uh, yes, just stack up there. Hmm, Air Chain actually got a big army, so I'm going to actually move these guys together. Your will, my lord. So we can team up. You, we need a team up lord. episode. Right, well, I mean, things are just looking great in my opinion. I really can't yes, complain. No. Laying siege to Moranon at the Black Gate. We've cleaned up most of the armies around here. A couple still standing, but Galibrin is firmly in our possession. We hold Carandros. Honestly, I might even try to send Bowen towards like Minas Tirith as Gilead. It's like, just liberate all these villages and, and towns and cities. Return them to their rightful owners. Just to really like screw over Mordor. Because then they'd be surrounded pretty much. I'm getting them cut off from the reinforcements, which would be fantastic. Anyway, um, in the next episode, we'll have more stuff that the Mouth of Sauron can gobble up. Uh, we'll also, of course, be moving Fulcred towards Imladris. Have I already moved him? Yes, I have. So he's just two turns off. Um, and then we need to like get him over there as quickly as possible, which uh, the boat will probably be the way to go, eh? And besides that, I don't think there's anything else I need to report. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Just want to make sure you guys had a happy Easter once again. And uh, yeah, I'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye, lads.